And welcome back to our Shadowrun Returns, the Deadman Switch campaign. The last time around we were hitting offices of Telestrial Industries, a CEO office, uh, in fact. Um, we did complete the Matrix run and extracted a lot of information, but still haven't found Aegis Sample. So, let's see what happens next. All right, your Comlin chirps again and the Baron's face appears on, on screen. His voice is far less confident than before. Uh, um, this is new. Right, you did not know about this control panel. Great. Apparently, Mr. Silverstar's reputation for paranoia is well founded. This panel is hard-coded door control that cannot be accessed from the Matrix. It was not here yesterday. How did he have it installed so fast? Uh, well... Maybe if you gave me more information, we could figure out the next step together. Yeah, this is a kind of dodgy character for a partner. Some of you will think of something. Yeah, you already did. Very well. This will work, but the plan requires you, and only you, to stay the night. Uh... What about my crew? You will find the elevator once again under our control. Goes to an empty parking garage and safety. Your hired help will be able to clear the building with ease. You, however, will be Telestrian's newest employee come sunrise. Now allow me to tell you where to go. Alright. I'm not sure I like this plan too much, but hey. That's how shadow runs go. Sometimes you need to be in disguise all by yourself. The morning after. You hunker down in the janitor's locker room amid the smells of industrial strength cleansers, floor wax, and body odor. Sleep is impossible as you must be constantly on your guard for the telltale sounds of security teams or building maintenance crews. Morning eventually comes and with it another chance at Project Ages. Right. Good morning, mon ami. You look well. Uh, you better have a good reason for locking me in here overnight. Given Mr. Silverstar's paranoia about security, we could not get into his office in a straightforward manner last night. However, thanks to the mayhem created by you and your Shadowrunners, a situation ripe for exploitation now exists. Uh, right for exploitation, huh? We, oui. while you waited here, I continued to probe, looking into some of the less secure, more mundane Telestrian office files. Shipping records indicate that Mr. Silverstar recently took delivery of several paintings he commissioned after being promoted to VP of Telestrian Security. The shipment was called Our Values. On the same day, building maintenance reported installing the artwork in his office at the same time as a piece of equipment purchased from Fuchicorp. Although they attempted to obfuscate its use, I believe it is the safe. Uh, and the sample is in the safe. You are very bright. Really. Mr. Silverstar is personally conducting the investigation to last night's break-in. He is interviewing personnel who may have pertinent information. You need to be one of the personnel he interviews, in his office. Once you are inside, you will need him to leave so that you can find a way to get the sample. So I tell him I have evidence so I can get inside his office for an interview. Right, how hard can that be? Close, you will plant evidence of your own creation. There are three matrix emergency power junctions on this level. If we add some common chips to them, it will make last night's run appear to be a preparation for a larger run. It will bring the attention of Telestrian security. Uh, well, I can handle it, but I'll need a way to get around the building without attracting attention. There is a janitor's uniform, ID badge and the comlink chips in the locker. They will get you general access and allow you to pass a basic inspection. 
The rest is up to you. One more thing. Mr. Silverstar is well known for his creative safe security measures. You would do well to learn as much as you can about this man before meeting him. Now quickly change it and I will unlock the door. Alright, well, uh, at least we are not in combat mode, so there's that. So let's see what we can do. All right, and now we are. That seems to be a generous outfit. Nice. Okay, we have a lot of karma, but uh, I don't think I need to have anything right now. So I'll keep it until next time, wherever we need to have some skill checks or uh, we get into a combat or into a matrix. But it sounds to me that for Matrix I don't really need anything more. Uh, the last run was indeed a milk run. But hey, we'll see about that. Okay, yes, I wanted to check. Uh, plant commonly chips to get to Eric Silverstar's office and don't blow your cover. All very reasonable things to do. Okay. So, all right. The supervisor has the look of Staffordshire manager with delusions that he is on a career track rather than he is a disposable dime a dozen resource. Hey, there you are. I'm Steve Scott. I'll be your direct supervisor. Sorry I missed you when you first came in, but I only found out that you were starting an hour ago when you suddenly showed up in the system. Weird glitch or something. Yeah, not suspicious at all. Normally we'd watch uh, an orientation tree and walk through our mission statement, but well, it's going to be hard for you on your first day, but you are going to need to clean up some blood. Maybe a lot. Cleaning up other people's messes is what I do, in more ways than one. You'll have your hands full. There was some sort of break-in last night. Some people were, um, just get things cleaned up on this floor. And listen, people are going to be on edge today, so try to stay invisible and don't get in any trouble. Otherwise they are going to call me and I'm going to have to reprimand you and put a note in your file. Yeah, we, no, none of us wants that. Straighten up this floor and stay out of trouble. Got it. I hope they get whoever did this. Only a fool would attack a Telestrian corporate office and think they can get away with it. Start heading from room to room and clean what needs cleaning. Good luck and welcome to Telestrian. Alright. So, that's our supervisor. Okay, what can we do here? Here's a guard. What can I do for you? Yeah, nice. Nice outfit. I need to get upstairs. My supervisor says there's more cleaning to do. The top floors may only be accessed with the express authorization of Eric Silverstar, our VP of security. You can head to the lower floors if your supervisor wants. Okay, we, well, I'll better get back to it. Alright, and after we find the chips, I assume we should be able to go. Alright. Cool. So, anything else in here? That's... Yeah, a bit grisly for the corporate office, but hey. Okay. Elestrian tech worker. Looks like you could get the access panel off easily. But the Telestrian technician could turn around at any moment. So why don't we have a pleasant conversation? 
Telestrian Tech Worker. As the Telestrian Tech Jerky turns to speak, you notice a panel has been removed from one of the land racks just behind him. Thanks for coming. Can you believe it? Silverstar is calling it an intrusion, but I know the aftermath of a Shadowrun when I see it. Start over in the corner and make sure you don't get any solvents on my servers. Alright, now we finally can get some skill checks. We have Charisma. So... Do you think you could duck out for a smoke or something? It would be easier if I didn't have to clean around you. Oh sorry, yeah no problem. Just another day in paradise, right? Well that was easier. We certainly will clean around him, so... So let's see what we have in there. Matrix Emergency Power Junction. Remove the access panel from the panel and place a comlink chip. The access panel comes off with a quiet pop. And you place a chip inside. Alright, we got some karma. What about those servers? The open panel is a rat's nest of cables and half disassembled hardware. Some of it is loose. Alright, let's take some LAN parts. Uh, not yet sure why, but okay. So, what do we have in here? Doesn't look like much. Okay. Alright. Oh yes, I actually did not recognize the place first. The two men are staring into a vent and shaking their heads. Lester got look, Carol. I know and you know that there is nothing in that vent, but when I told that to Silverstar, he accused me of not wanting to crawl in there. That was letting the company down by not displaying the corporate value of duty. The suits sure love their mission statement and all the drag. But today isn't the day of Telestrian Corp's duty above all crap. Several of us did the ultimate duty last night. I guess we should just be happy Mr. Telestrian isn't in today. Just get in there and take another look. I have got to go upstairs and report. Okay. I remember those vents, but I don't think we could have gotten in there. Alright. And we have Charisma again. A filthy guard is looking into an open vent. He's clearly not enjoying the idea of climbing back into the duct. Sorry I tracked that drag all over the floor. He shakes his head. Man, I can't believe what happened in the Night Watch. Me either. You think you're done with the events for the day? You want me to get this room back in order? If anyone asks, you saw me in there, okay? Oh, we sure did. Don't worry. Don't worry about us. Yeah, that's where all the... Uh, Turrets were. Yeah, and I was wondering about this room, so it was empty last time around, but now we have something to do in here. Matrix Emergency Power Junction. Still the comlink chip. The access panel comes off with a quiet pop and you place a chip inside. Okay, more karma. We are swimming in karma. I'm wondering what we should pick up next. Alright, so let's get back to... I think that was accounting. Alright, anything new here? Alright. I have to say at this point it's not looking good. I don't know how it happened. Nonetheless, our records show this terminal was left unsecured in direct contravention of Telestrian corporate policy. You failed in your duty. I know it's duty above all for your security types, but I am the victim here, I swear. Perhaps then Mr. Silverstar gets his next promotion, that will become a value for you data pushers as well. Right now it seems your value 
is clock out early and ignore my responsibilities. Don't go anywhere, I need to make my report to Eric. Well, somebody's not gonna have a good day. Alright. A wage slave is on the edge. He is staring vacantly at his terminal with his hands on his face and his fingers twitching nervously. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Looks like you're in some real trouble, Chummer. Buzz, unless you can clean up a shattered career, leave me alone. I came across some items that might help you out. I doubt it. You know the guy who said life isn't fair? He was talking about me. Right, I'm more charisma for. Security is bullying you, but I could make it look like your terminal was tampered with and no one would be wiser. You're right, there's no reason I should let security push me around. Let's do it quick. Uh, he must be really desperate to get some advice on covering up your mess up from a janitor. Uh -huh. Alright. You place the cables and data chips around the terminal's casing. Okay. Thanks so much. I won't forget this when your review comes up. Hey, no problem, sir. Just glad I could help. Would you mind clearing out of here for a while? There's a lot to do. You bet. Just remember to keep this just between us. Oh, yes. Alright. I think that's the last one. Alright, Karma 2. Yes, objective complete. So, anything else we can do here? That doesn't seem to be the case, alright. Uh, anything new and exciting around here, though? Okay, not here. This looks locked. Okay. Alright then. Nothing to do here. Looks like we're done here. Alright, let's talk to the guard again. What can I do for you? I need to get upstairs. My supervisor says there is more cleaning to do. Yeah. Hey, I found all these chips on some of the metric switch boxes. Is that important? The guard thinks for a moment and activates his comlink. He turns his back on you and has a brief conversation. Then he turns back. Mr. Silverstar wants to see you in his office immediately. Okay. Alright, then we are transitioned to a new location. Let's keep on going, that didn't take too long. Collecting the sample. The brutish dogged dog existence of a slum dweller is a far cry from the quiet desperation and existential nothingness of a corporate wage slave. Yet after your time at Telestrian Industries, it's unclear which is more bleak. The elevator rises smoothly, its blenderized music assaulting you once again as you ascend to the executive floor. And you go. Well, we have been upstairs already. And actually right in this area, okay. Sounds we can go there now. Yeah, this one is locked. Okay. And here's Eric Silverstar. He's an elf by the looks of that. There you are. It seems that some of my best are letting me down and it's good to see that you're displaying one of the most important of my three key values. 
All right, we've heard enough of that. Well, it's duty above all, right? Uh, well, yes, that is the first valley, and I'm glad more than those outside of security follow it, and from a janitor, no less. No, I'm speaking of my third and final value of vigilance, which seems to be sorely lacking around here. Well, thank you, sir. Well, rewards and punishment must be given where required. Now, please start filling out the report on the datapad, and I'm afraid I must ask you to not sit in my chair given your attire. I need to go ahead downstairs and investigate your findings. I'll be right back. Okay, let me get this straight. The janitor, who just claims to have some even minor information, gets called to office of head of the whole corporate security in his own office, and the head of such security immediately leaves him to do whatever it is in his office. That makes so much sense from a security perspective or from any other perspective. Right. So let's get back to Baron Samide. A common being uh, terrain you pick up. So these paintings must be what all those expensive deliveries were. We don't have much time. I'm tracking Silver Star and he's already stepping off the elevator. I don't think you, your disguise will hold up much longer. I'll update you on his movements. Hurry, mon ami. Right. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, we have some paintings. So what do we have in there? There's an open bottle of expensive scotch and a single glass that appears to be half empty and half smoked cigar. Okay. Uh, So, let's see. The painting is of a small lighthouse in intense storm at night perched at rocky outcropping. It slides, slabs out into the darkness. The plaque reads Vigilance. Okay. The painting shows a wild mountain landscape with clouds ringing lofty peaks. The black reads Independence. Okay, that looks like a puzzle thought. Uh, what else do we have? This is a photorealistic painting of five massive harvesters in Telestrian colors in a staggered formation cutting a swath across a rippling field of wheat. The plaque reads Unity. Uh, depicted as a clock tower at the train station in downtown Portland in the tour. The plaque reads Efficiency. Okay. Alright, this shows a profile of three elves in Telestrian security uniforms looking upwards at a flag flying a Telestrian logo. The plaque reads duty. Okay, it sounds like there are different values. We know that the first value is duty. The frame clicks into place and the painting slides back into the wall. As a few guards, a tech worker and a very nervous wage slave gathered in the boardroom and is beginning to question them. Okay, I don't know what is the next one, but the third one was vigilance. So let's try efficiency. Vigilance. Is finished entering a metric stack and is now taking sternly into a pair of guards. Okay, and that didn't do anything, it seems. Okay.
Oh, okay. We missed that part. There's a safe that has a large DNA scanner on the front, most likely key to Mr. Silverstar. Okay. Can we get some of his DNA? Maybe. Yeah, pick up half smoked cigar. Okay, that sounds like a source. A DNA. And. Alright, put the moist end of the cigar on the DNA scanner. Wait, what? Did we get that? Uh, okay, I knew the first and the third one, but the second one. Uh, I think I guessed. Uh, anyway, take the sample. Great work, mon ami. The time for stealth has passed. A set of every alarm in the system, but I have unlocked the executive elevator and your path is clear. Head to the elevator and make your escape. Okay. And now we need to escape. And where is the elevator? Oh, is that the one? Yep, okay. Um, hmm. Alright then. Something tells me we're gonna meet somebody along the way. Let's just dash through that. Hey, this is a restricted area. You can't go in there. Yes, I know. Kinda have been here already. Uh, Alright. Okay, is there no one in here? Well... Oh, I said you didn't mind that. And it seems we can extract now. Alright, and now I'll make a cut here and I'll see you in the next episode. See you then.